The earliest known grapes were brought to this region in the late 1700s for the San Luis Rey Mission. Now, it wasn't until 1968 that the first commercial vineyards were planted by the Solurzo family. We're going to talk to some of the early wineries from that time and just to find out from these pioneers what it was like during that time in developing this Temecula Valley wine region, the emerging award-winning wine country that it is today. One Saturday or Sunday morning, I don't remember which, we were just sitting around after breakfast reading the paper and Vince said, look at this ad. And it was a picture of a man sitting in the middle of a field. He was reading the Wall Street Journal and the caption underneath it said, Rancho California, and then in big letters, gentleman farming. And Vince said, this is such good advertising. We've got to go down and look and find where this is and find out all about it. So we called and we came down and I mean, it was like, you know how you hear about people just falling in love? Well, that's what we did. We just, we, we knew the minute we drove in here that uh, we were gonna be buying here. In those days, in the beginning, we didn't charge anything for tasting. And then after a while, we, we charged a dollar. You could taste all the wines for a dollar. And then if you bought a bottle, you got your dollar back. <laughs> The vineyard starting going in in 68 with Salerzo's and Brookside. The first winery didn't uh, start until 74, uh, being Callaway. They were the first winery, and their tasting room was a single wide mobile. And then Mount Palomar were a year later, 75, but my dad built up small amounts of wine for a couple of years. And then in 77, and when I got there, when I, I first started working there some in 77, uh, we also had a single wide mobile home with a little tasting bar in it. So my dad had decided he wanted to build the first permanent tasting room. So over time, I think there got to be a group effort and there was always a sharing, like people would say, wow, that's so good, how did you do that? And you would tell them, you know, because this was gonna help everybody. Temecula Valley Wine Country is still creating its history as more and more wineries are opening up every year, as you see right here. So come uncover Temecula Valley and find out all about its history.